You are tuned to the Folk Music Notebook, streaming folk songs 24-7. Welcome to Folk Music Notebook's Artist in Residence Showcase. Each week at this time, we shine a spotlight on an outstanding singer-songwriter from our folk community as they share an exclusive performance for our Folk Music Notebook audience. This week, we travel to Vermont to visit our guest artist, Phil Henry. In addition to being a songwriter, Phil is also a music and chorus teacher at West Rutland High School in Vermont. When he was in music school studying the masters, he was also drawn to the do-it-yourself spirit of folk music. He began a love affair with the steel string guitar and writing songs. And the songs that he creates introduces us to characters and imagery that reflect Phil's creative drive. His songs have earned contest wins at Solar Fest and the Susquehanna Music and Arts Festival, and also showcase slots at Falcon Ridge, Kerrville, and the Northeast Regional Folk Alliance. It is our pleasure to welcome to Artist in Residence Showcase, Phil Henry. Hello, and welcome to Folk Music Notebook. My name is Phil Henry. It's my pleasure to do an artist in residence set for you. In this case, I'm recording from my classroom, so maybe one step removed from, uh, from my residence, my classroom in West Rutland, Vermont. And I'm gonna do a, um, the most Vermont kind of song that, that I've been able to come up with. This is a story about the railroad worker Phineas Gage, who was working in Cavendish, Vermont in the late 1800s when there was an explosion and a metal rod went through his jaw and up through the top of his head and he lived and I was able to meet his doctor outside of the hotel in Cavendish to tell him what had happened. Um, he lived for several years after that. Um, and uh, this is a story that's told from the point of view of letters from Phineas's mother. This is called Phineas. My dear Phineas, I hope this letter finds you well. I had heard the worst, it goes to show you can never tell. My dear Phineas, when you left to work, gave me your word you'd be back in six weeks time now you're in bed in Cavendish and I thank God your life but you gave your poor mother such a fright if you only knew what you put me through they say another inch or two to the right and you'd be dead God knows how, but I need this now, like I need another hole in my head, another hole in my head. My dear Phineas, Dr. Harlow sends his word of your mind. Fit and strong despite the hurt. My dear Phineas, even he cannot explain. But he's warning me, son, I knew was not the same. You've been gnashing teeth and angry with words as sharp as steel. I'm begging you to come back home. To put me through to say another inch or two to the right and you be dead. Only God knows how, but I need this now. Like I need another hole in my head, another hole in my head. Post 
rather curious case of Phineas Gage. As you roll your sideshow town to town, do you think this makes your mother proud? If you only knew what you put me through, they say that every mother lives her children's pain instead. Only God knows how, but I need this now Like I need another hole in my head Another hole in my head Oh, another hole in my head Hole in my Here's the story of Phineas Gage. One of the things I was spending a lot of time over the pandemic doing was reaching out to various musicians that I, that I love and, and uh, doing a bit of co-writing. And this one I ended up writing with uh, a punk rock musician in Vermont whose name is Nick Grandchamp. And Nick is, uh, is growing up and he's getting to the point where he's making some decisions about, okay, so I'm getting married, I'm buying the house, am I, uh, am I, uh, do I have a dog and a cat and a, and do I, do I have kids and uh, what does that mean for the punk rock life that I, that has really defined me my whole life. So, this is called Les Paul. Should've never sold my last paw Should've never let it out of my sight I should've never sold my last paw Some burst 85, summer made me more alive Once you start letting go You lose the rock, you start getting old I should've never sold my last paw Never let it out of my heart Wish I still had that black denim coat Sewn up with patches from every punk rock show But you don't know love till you give it away In that rust bucket tour van I think about it every day But you can't go back once you take that job Got a wife and two kids and a pool in the yard Should've never sold my Les Paul Never let it out of my heart Shop every Saturday, the old man there shakes his head. But I can't stop searching for my youth, for the sound, for my friends, for the life I should have had. It's Should've never sold my last paw. I should've never let it out of my sight. I should've never sold that last paw. Some verse 85, some I made me more alive. Once you start letting go, you lose a rock, you start getting old. I should've never sold my last paw. I should've never sold that sunburst last paw. I should have never sold my last part, never let it out of my heart. Never let it out of my heart. Never
<laughs> All right, Les Paul there for you on the Folk Music Notebook. All right, it's been my pleasure to uh, do a few songs for you. I'm going to uh, finish out with this tune, uh, which is a Stephen Foster song. And uh, it also has a verse written by uh, a good friend in our community, Trisha Knudsen, who is a songwriter and poet in Massachusetts. And uh, she added this last verse, which I think is maybe the only way to improve upon a Stephen Foster song. But uh, I've been playing this song as a closer for years, but uh, as of we've gone through this whole uh, COVID thing, and maybe we're not quite through it yet, um, this is really uh, more and more relevant all the time. This is called Hard Times Come Again. Let us pause in love's pleasures and count its many tears While we all sub sorrow with the poor There's a song that will linger forever in our ears Oh, hard times come again no more It's the song of Hard times come again no more Many days you have lingered around my cabin door Oh, hard times come again no more While we seek mirth and beauty and music light and gay Fair old frail forms fainting at the door their voices are silent, their meaning looks will say, Oh, hard times come again no more. It's the song of Salbui. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. It's the song beside the weary Hard times, hard times come again no more Many days you have lingered around my cabin door Oh, hard times come again no more Let us not grow faint-hearted, we champions of peace but instead, love each other to the core. And the love we've been given, their graciousness release. So hard times will come again no more. It's the song beside the weary. Hard times, hard times. Thanks so much, Folk Music Notebook. My name's Phil Henry. You have been listening to Artist in Residence Showcase with this week's guest, Phil Henry.
Phil's latest album is called Chasing Rainbows. It's his fifth recording. And if you'd like to find out more about Phil and his music, please visit his website, philhenryband.com. We'd like to thank Phil for joining us today, and thank you for listening. We hope you'll join us again next week at this time for another Artist in Residence Showcase. And be sure to check our website for a list of encore broadcasts. This is Folk Music Notebook, your virtual folk festival, 24 hours a day. You are tuned to the Folk Music Notebook, streaming folk songs 24-7.